नमस्कार आपका अक्षता क्लासेस में स्वागत है आज हम कैलाश चंद्रा वॉल्यूम फर्स्ट की ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर ट्वेंटी की पार्ट टू की डिक्टेशन करेंगे जिसकी स्पीड एट्टी वर्ड पर मिनट होगी आपकी डिक्टेशन अगले पाँच सेकेंड में शुरू होगी फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन स्टार्ट सो आल दीज डिफिकल्टीज were there in the way of the home minister but i find that by his sweet persuasion he has been able to win over all the chief ministers who in the conference immediately preceding the last one agreed to it in principle and in the subsequent conference they agreed to it it appears obviously in toto and hence we have before us this resolution supported by the chief ministers of all the states sir for that i want to congratulate most sincerely and heartily the honorable the home minister now sir so far as the merits of this resolution are concerned i do not think it is necessary for me to elaborate on them because during the last 4 years or so ever since the publication of the report of the states reorganization commission many eminent men all over the country eminent administrators and persons who had experience of administration including the retired comptroller and auditor general were of the opinion that more all india services should be created our honorable the prime minister as also our vice president have on more than one occasion expressed themselves definitely in favor of having more all india services last year sir about the month of october when addressing the indian police service officers when they were going out after having had their training for a year he expressly said that if national integration was to be maintained it was necessary to have more all india services that being so i think there is not much need for us to emphasize the necessity and the utility for having more all india services sir in the interest of efficiency and also in the interest of integrity it is absolutely necessary that we should have these three all india services as also some others the major problem these days before us is that successful implementation of the development programs has to be carried through it is not enough that we should have big schemes it is not enough that we should allocate large sums for the implementation of those schemes but it is necessary that we should have competent personnel to effectively implement our schemes so that in a short time we may be able to carry forward our country to economic prosperity all round in the past during the pre independence 
period we had quite a number of all india services but then when we framed our constitution we dispensed with the others retaining only two it appears to me that necessity has now arisen for reorganization of the all india services and to have more all india services dictation complete ho gayi hai thank you